Hello guys, this is a special video. We have come to a special place in India. This is the Xiaomi factory which is located in a Sri city. This factory was first set up in 2015. Initially they were assembling TVs. Now they are assembling smartphones and other MI products. You can just take a look at it. Here even 100% of the TVs of MI are manufactured. Without wasting time, let's get in and check out what's going on inside the factory. Come on guys, let's get in. Before getting into the factory, we are requested to dress up completely to avoid dust particles getting in. All the basic parts you see here are manufactured in Chennai Sri Parambatur's factory and then it is assembled here. Alright guys, let's get into the first step. Firstly, they are assembling the display with the panel and we are not allowed to film it so you are seeing the testing process after fitting the display here they are fixing the volume key and power key to the board once done it is sent to the other person through conveyor next person is checking out for any defects manually and placing the panel inside a rubber case to prevent it from any physical damage during the production now they are placing a small vibrating motor which gives haptic feedback then they are removing the stickers and placing the earpiece speaker on the top. Most of the workers here I see are women. This shows the woman empowerment of India. Here most of them do only one work at a time repeatedly. I wonder about it. This is not an easy task guys. I hope you understand it. So I really appreciate this woman for their work. If you also want to appreciate them, make sure to like and share this video. Now they are placing a band on the motherboard to fix the 3.5 mm jack. Here what you see is the main camera. This is so cute and small right? Now they are simply pressing the camera and fitting it in place and scanning it to check it out. Now the camera is soldered in place with the automatic machine. Then they are fixing the proximity sensor which is very useful to turn on and off of the display when you make a call. Then this automatic machine places the thermal paste over the panel to fix the motherboard and to remove the excess heat from the motherboard. Till now you would have seen the motherboard and the panels are processed separately. Now they are scanning it together and placing it in the conveyor. Now you can see the conveyor is moving to a dust free chamber this dust proof chamber prevents it from unnecessary dust particles getting into the camera module here they are placing the important components together that is the motherboard and the panel here they are even placing a temporary sim tray to prevent it from moving now they are removing the protective sticker from the selfie camera now they are placing a rubber module to prevent the selfie camera from moving. Then the next person is removing the camera cap from the selfie module and placing it in camera place. And then she is testing out with the zoom lens and passing it to the next step. Next you can see a small module in my hand. This is the charging module. You can see this person is checking out for any defects visually. Here you can see there are lot of rubbers. This rubbers placed over the charging port to prevent it from water damage. Now they are placing the charging module into the mobile and then they are screwing it tight together. This is the secondary camera. This is a wide angle camera. Now both are fixed together and scanned to make sure all the components are present in the mobile. Here you can see they are fixing the antenna cable. When it comes to mobile, battery is a very important part but it's flammable too. So they are checking every battery manually and passing it to the conveyor. The very next person removes the tape and places the mobile inside a chamber. Here the battery is placed perfectly into the mobile and then the next person checks for any defects in the cable and she places the mobile inside a hydraulic press. This hydraulic press fits the battery perfectly. After this process, they are adding the bottom speaker setup and screwing it tightly to fix it in place. Now they are testing the battery. They are testing the battery to its maximum voltage through a USB cable. You can see multiple mobiles are tested at the same time. They are also even conducting a manual test. 
to make sure that all the components are fit perfectly you can see it here now let's check what's inside this chamber here they are removing the screen protector from the camera and placing the back module they are doing this inside this airtight chamber just to avoid unnecessary dust particles entering into the camera module and then the next person is just screwing two screws after that the automatic screwing machine screws all the major screws that is necessary for the camera module once the screwing is done the temporary sim slot is removed and then they are checking out for any defects once it is perfect they are scanning the qr after the scanning is done the system is generating a unique imei number for the mobile the imei number is placed on front and back of the mobile once this is done the back camera is fitted in place and then it is molded with the panel here i was surprised to see some tiny stickers of mi i was wondering what is it for so after asking a couple of people they explained me that these are the warranty stickers if you have opened the mi phone without the knowledge of mi they would void the warranty with the help of this sticker once this is done they are finally fixing something i was wondering what it is a fingerprint sensor as this is a low budget phone they are placing the fingerprint at back side of the mobile finally i see the back case then they are placing the fingerprint with the back case and completely fitting the mobile i think the mobile is ready right now let's see what happens next now you could see that they are placing the mobile inside a vibrating chamber in this chamber the mobile are left to vibrate for 2 to 3 minutes once this is done they are taking the mobile out and placing it in a rubber case here there are nine person who are testing each component of the mobile simultaneously the first person is testing the speaker output you can see it right here and then the second person is testing out sim slot now this person is testing the flashlight of the mobile this person is checking out the audio quality of the top and bottom speaker now the mobile is transferred to the next person where the headphone are tested then the otg connectivity are tested even a charging is tested finally they are scanning with the qr and passing it to the chamber in this chamber the mobiles are tested with multiple bands like wi-fi bluetooth and other connectivity then in this next chamber they are testing out the display quality similarly they are testing out all the components like selfie camera and rear camera using this chamber after this process they are checking it manually the next stage is the toughest stage of the mobile because here the mobiles are let to run for 6 to 7 hours here whatever you see is the mobile and they are connected to the computer if there is any defect it is easy to find out by the system the defective mobiles are removed and their parts are replaced this place is a torture for phone and even to us because the sound is very high and the phone are continuously doing multiple tasks now we are moving to the next floor some of the mobiles we get are ip rated which is dust and waterproof in this floor we are going to see how mobiles are nano coated first stage they are keeping the phone in a warmer and this chamber removes all the dust from the phone next they are moved to the uh, big machine we are not allowed to look into it but this is where the phone is nano coated this will take approximately six hours to complete the process once that is done they will start testing again one by one manually because if there is any problem in mobile after running for a long time it will be easy for them to find out here they are checking the speaker and vibrator then they are keeping the mobile in a dark place to check if there is any defect in the display they are even checking the colors to make sure it is perfectly working here they are checking the accelerometer for the camera test they have two objects that are placed in a short and long distance they are even testing on the focus of the camera once done they are checking the selfie camera here it looks like the display test 
but it's not the display test it's a fingerprint test finally they are adding the sim tray and checking it twice to make sure it is perfect in place imei number is sticked to the back side of the mobile all right guys now they are just started to put the os I wonder all this time this phone was running without the OS. After the OS is installed, they are testing once again manually. Now they are putting the final screen protector. They are adding all the accessories into the box and finally packing the mobile. If you have seen the complete process, you will find 70% of the time is spent for testing. This ensures that the product is met 100% quality when it reaches the customer. I hope you like this video. Make sure to hit like, share and subscribe our channel.